And you know what else is worthless? A weaponized justice system. It looks like the blatant political targeting of Donald Trump is causing an uproar among the rank and file at the FBI. Washington Times reporting that allegations of political bias, widespread misconduct, has prompted FBI agents to call for FBI Director Christopher Wray to resign. As you can see, folks, all of this is backfiring on the left. Joining me now, the 2016 Trump deputy campaign manager and president of Citizens United, Dave Bussey. Dave, good to have you on the show. Uh, let's go right to this guy, this Tim Tebow, the top-level uh, top FBI agent who I believe he admitted that he was helping to hide, to shield Hunter Biden against scrutiny. What are your thoughts on this guy? What's going on? What, Eric, does this surprise you at all? This, this FBI, this the same FBI where the lovers, uh, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, have not had to pay any consequence for their actions against Donald Trump in 2016. McCabe is still a TV commentator. He has not paid a price for the for the fraud that he perpetrated on the American people. These are FBI, were, were FBI agents running the Russia collusion hoax against Donald Trump five, six years ago and have paid no price for it because the FBI doesn't uh, require anyone to pay for their deeds. And that's the problem. The, um, they lost the American people's trust. They, they, I'm a believer in the FBI. I'm, uh, Eric, I'm a believer in the FBI. I want a strong FBI. I want an ethical FBI. I want an FBI that treats all Americans uh, the same. But we're not, and we have not been getting that. And that's the problem. Thank God Merrick Garland uh, is not on the United States Supreme Court. He's much more of a press secretary than he is an attorney general. So, and so, Ray so, so allow me, allow me. David, this, this is super important because I ask everyone the same question. It really matters. Who is calling for this treatment of the former president and president at the time? It, we can't just say deep state and, and, and not pinpoint this. Is it Chris Ray? Was it James Comey? Was it, is it, Barack Obama? Was it Barack Obama? Is it Joe Biden? Where is this coming from? Well, first of all, it's, it's such an important question to get to the bottom of. And that's why I believe it is an absolute must. One of the most important things Congress must do, especially when Congress is taken back by the Republicans in November, is have Merrick Garland and Chris Ray testify before the House Judiciary Committee and have to answer questions under oath to just those very important questions that you just raised. Because we must, as Americans, feel like there's not two sets of rules, one for Donald Trump and one for everyone else. You look at Hillary Clinton as a perfect example. I hate to keep talking about crooked age six years later, but she had thousands of documents, classified documents at all levels on her private servers and there was no raid of Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton's house. There was no, uh, you know, grand jury and subpoenas. It, it, it didn't happen. Whom Abedin didn't even have to answer questions. She got an immunity deal for nothing. This is what they do on their side. Uh, and so it's a very frustrating time uh, for all Americans. But we, as you know, the, the, the folks on the, on the Republican side of the aisle, we just see it as two sets of rules, one for them and one for us. Yeah, yeah. And then you have Joe Biden calling us semi-fascist for wanting equal, uh, you know, right, equal, just equal justice under the law. We call it projecting, Dave. We call it when they're doing it, they call you, you know, you're the fascist. Meanwhile, they're they're exactly doing that. They're, they're exercising fascism. I got to go th th control throw that picture of that of this, the floor of Mar-a-Lago with all the, the documents. This is such BS. I, I, I ran out of time, Dave, but we'll bring it back and talk about this. There, right there, that's a propaganda picture. That's a propaganda photo op that they staged to make it look like Trump was just throwing around documents, not keeping them in a safe, secure location. It's BS. It's got to stop, folks. That's right. Uh, Dave Bossy. Dave, always good having you. Have you getting soon. Thanks.